This place is great, Sindri. You built it all yourself? You know it. Hey, come see. I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. <laughs> so, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader, Durlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your bean, don't you? I suppose you think Durlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Durland's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. You hear that? We'll just need the Bifrost and the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh! Oh, Cindy, you bastard! <laughs> Open! Open now! I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now... Release! Still unpleasant! Oh, that's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Frostful goes eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just need to adjust. <gasps> there! That should do it! <sighs> see? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> the Bifrost is broken. 
Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on, let me show you how it works. Aim your key at the room for Svartalfheim on the right. Then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate What inebriate. the hell? I suppose oh, well. he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good Ooh. luck! Thanks! Wait, what I said good luck! Oh. Back up. Whoa! Do you feel that? What's that like? Anything. Everything. Come on. I can probably use the boat. If I can just get it free. Off to a lively stop. <laughs> you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. I'll let you know when I'm getting ready, damn it. I'm protected. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources. If you never asked mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. <laughs> and then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. See that over there?
That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? It's pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know, it is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. <clears throat> Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. And the third one. Oh no. Two out of three. The third one's up there. It looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Raid Mars Brasser. Father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Not may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Oh, uh, looking up an apple. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh. I think that's dirty enough to go. Aye, good old dwarven craftsmanship. Go ass up there, Atreus. Tyr was a friend to the Giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the Rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the Giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. There's gotta be some way to turn the wheel up here. Well there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in sheep ground. Is that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartelfine. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Oh wow! We've got to make it lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, 
Maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfarm? Aye, lad. Fimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Fimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Think we can fit under that bridge? They'll be home momentarily, don't worry about them. Then when they get here, we go to work. Heal. Boy, did I? What's up, Robbie? Those guys are... Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Things are everywhere. 
jumping in the gate coming down. That's more of an ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Rock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavolir. How shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. <laughs> you did it. Let's see what it drops. All kinds of crap. Father, up there. Halfway there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. It's clinging to the wall! We gotta knock it down! Think you can uncover that geyser from here? I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. Block's coming down. Hmm? Can you see anything 
from that block? That's one of Cavassio's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Come on, Adio. the hell? That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble winter. Maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of you, brothers. Hey! Dwarves! Oh. They're, uh... Running away. An alarm. It only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Could we talk to we you for a... any trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. And hope they let us in. You really are incredible. The detail in the yeah. woodwork is quite extraordinary. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or for you. Hello. I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is it, dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouth. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material. Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things... Oh, in action. Ah. Whoo. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. The 
stealth them. Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlers and need them here. How was I supposed to know they were there? Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. What can I make for you? What happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, <laughs> maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. <laughs> oh my god. Be safe! Go. What's up, Liz? Uh, oh, vibration. Go there. Oh, that was tight. Yeah, Another of Cavassia's poems. Back up there. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it, but knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of, to keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. That works. <laughs> Just over there. My way around there. Just a Showing him. Go! 
I think we need some special equipment to use this. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. I mean, no you promises, my good realm, sir. Maybe you could clean up the head's mess. What Ooh. mess? Later, brother. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. I want to kill that little guy. I think that'd be lots of fun. Compass and map camp. Objects press the left side of the. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was in the key up here, little brother. We saw a dog out there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derlin's. I want that chest, goddammit. Okay, there's a dock. Huh? Huh? Business is... What?
There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ramir, why do the dwarves hate you? Oh, in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I helped build some mining rigs. What about them? They're a mistake of mine, from quite a long time ago. If you've got the time, I'd have us turn them off. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, were you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. So we're going to Durland's? Makes sense. We could always explore those mining rigs later. This is the safety office? Well, the sign a hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. Alright, so we're gonna end this here for right now because I'm a little concerned with the notification that PlayStation just gave me, so, um... I need to figure that out, so we're gonna go ahead and save right here for right now. And I will continue my adventure later tonight or tomorrow. Oh, thank you for tuning in. Again, this is God of War Ragnarok. And we'll be continuing this game momentarily. Thank you. Have a great day and look forward to my next stream. Later.